So somebody has rightly uh, described complex conjugate. For example, uh, for example, so let me write a, um, hold on, review dividing. Okay, so we start with complex conjugate. So let's give an example of a complex number. Um, we can have something like three plus five i. This is an example of complex number. So now the, the complex conjugate will be somebody help three minus five i. Okay, so you have to maintain, you have to keep the real part. This is the real part, and then this is the imaginary part. So you have to keep the real part, and then you change the sign of the imaginary part. So in this case, the sign of the imaginary part is positive, so you just change it to negative. That's it. So it doesn't matter what the example might be. Let's give another example. Um, complex number, complex number. So uh, I would say maybe five minus i. So it's complex conjugate. Conjugate will be five plus i. All right. So now that we now that we re, uh, recall what now that we just recall what a complex conjugate is. So ranking, I would like you to give us an example of conjugate number uh, that complex number you want us to divide. So bring up the example, let's do it, and then we are done with that. Just bring any complex number that, that requires division. Uh, six divided by two i. Hold on, example. So um, simplify, you can say, they can say simplify, or they can say evaluate. So uh, six divided by what? Two i. Um, that's not going to require a complex conjugate. So what would? I mean, if you have such a number, you can still perform the division. You, all you do is you rationalize the, you rationalize the denominator. If you have that uh, 6 plus uh, 2i, 2i, right? Is that what you mean? Yes. OK, so this will not require using conjugate. But you can perform the division by rationalizing the denominator. So how do you do that? So you're just making sure that there is no imaginary number on the denominator. So how do you do that? So you can say uh, six multiplied by two i divide by two i multiplied by two i. So you can see that two i divided by two i is still one. So you did not really you did not really add any number to it. Rather, you just you just wrote it in such a way that it to help manipulate the, uh, the, the, the expression. 2i divided by 2i is still 1. So it still gives you 6 over 2i. So now what do you do going forward? So you can just say that this is evaluate the numerator. Numerator will be 6 times 2, right? So that should give us 12i. Now on the denominator side, you have 2 times 2 is 4. Then i times i is i squared. But we also know that i squared is equal to negative one. So any place you see i squared, just replace it with a negative one. So in that case, that's going to be 12 i divided by four bracket negative one. So four Mr. times Mr. negative one is negative four. So you, you will end up with 12 divided by negative four um, I. So when you perform the division, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this is going to give you 3i. A positive divided by negative is negative. So your solution is negative 3i. Mr. Okay. Yes. Um, I, I don't want to speak for Javier because I'm not sure if that's what she meant, but like I think she meant the work that she gave us like last week when we had to leave class early, dividing complex numbers using complex conjugates. Yes, so now the example she gave is, uh, that's what I said from the beginning. I said the example she gave will not involve using complex conjugate. The example she gave. But I did not just want to, I didn't just want to, um, um, you know, ignore the example. I just wanted us, everybody to still know how to do this type of um, division. 
So now give us another example that will involve complex conjugates. You three can minus. bring from you can bring an example from what I gave you to do. Uh three minus two i. Hold divided. on, hold on. So example two, three minus two i divided by two minus five i. Divided by two minus five i. Yes, this one is going to involve complex conjugates. Okay. So the first thing you have to identify is it is the new, it is the denominator that has issues that needs to be resolved. So that's the one you will look for its complex conjugate. So uh, you can write the conjugate of two minus five i is two plus five i. So it is this conjugate that you are going to use in multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. So next thing will be, you just say three minus two i bracket two plus five i, and then divide by um, two minus five uh, i bracket two plus five i, okay? So now, now you can see that two plus five i divided by two plus five i will cancel out, it will give you one. So you did not add extra number, but you, you wrote it in such a way that it is going to help you to um, manipulate the expression. All right, so now let's now use a distributive property to um, open up the bracket. So you are going to apply the distributive property on both the numerator and the denominator. So, so now let's go, um, three times two. We're so, working on the uh, numerator five first. Three times two is? Six. Six. Then three times five is 15. 15. Plus 15 i. Then you repeat the process. Negative times uh, positive here will give you negative. Two times four, two times two is four. So you have four i. And then this negative, times this positive will give you negative, then two times two, two is, and then i times i is i squared. So you have negative 10 i squared, all right? Divide by, you repeat the problem denominator. This two this, times two this is you four. Me? Yes? This is five times five equals 25? Yes, it is, thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me repeat that one, please. Uh, let me repeat the. I have not done the de denominator. I have not done the denominator. I just did the numerator. Sorry, I was ahead. Right okay. My fault. Yeah. Okay. So let's do the de denominator. Then that's when we should have a possibility of uh, twenty-five. All right. So two times two is four. Two times uh, five i is ten i. So you have plus ten i. Negative times posi positive is negative. Five times five times um, five times two is ten. So you have ten i. Then times positive is negative. Five times five is twenty five. Then i times i is i squared. Okay. Uh, check it again. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so now let's um let's simplify a little bit. So now you have on the numerator side you have six. Fifteen minus four should give you eleven i. That's positive eleven i. Then um negative. Then you have negative ten bracket negative one because anytime you see i squared it is equal to negative one always always 100 percent of the time so now let's go to the denominator so we have four there we write it down 10 i minus 10 i will cross out then you you have negative 25 bracket negative one okay so if that is the case we have about one more step to go so we are going to get uh six we write down our six plus 11i, then negative times negative is positive. This one times this one is positive. So you have plus 10. 
then divide by um, the denominator becomes four plus negative times negative is positive. So you have plus 25, plus 25. One more step. So you can see six, you collect like terms. So six plus 10, six plus 10 is 16, right? So you have 16 uh, plus 11i divided by four plus 25 is uh, 29, 29. So that's your solution. However, in many cases, they are going to ask you to write your solution in form of A plus BI. So if that is the case, if that is the case, then your final solution is going to be 16 over 29 plus 11 over 29i. And you will score 100%.